Hi hello. I am Mr. John. Welcome to the session. I think this video will be very useful to you. Let's go to the video. But before that please do. Subscribe. In this video we are going to see about leukocytes. Let's go. Leukocytes which is also known as white blood cells. White blood cells have an important function in defense and immunity. They detect foreign or abnormal material and destroy it through a range of defense mechanisms described below. Leukocytes are the largest blood cells, but they account for only about 1% of the blood volume. They contain nuclei, and some have granules in their cytoplasm. There are two main types, granulocytes and agranulocytes. Further granulocytes contains three types. They are neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. Further agranulocytes contains into two types. They are monocytes and lymphocytes. Now let us see about granulocytes. Granulocytes follow a common line of development through myeloblast to myelocyte before differentiating into the three types. All granulocytes have multilobed nuclei in their cytoplasm. Their name represent the dyes they take up when stained in the laboratory. Eosinophils will take up the red acid dye, eosin. Basophils take up alkaline methylene blue. Neutrophil or purple because they take up both dyes. Now let us see about neutrophils. Neutrophils are small, fast and active scavengers protect the body against bacterial invasion. And remove dead cells and debris from damaged tissues. Their numbers rise very quickly in an area of damaged or infected tissues. Once there, they engulf and kill bacteria by phagocytosis. Neutrophils live on average for 6 to 9 hours in the bloodstream. Now let us see about eosinophils. Eosinophils, although capable of phagocytosis are less active in this process than neutrophils. Their specialized role appears to be in the elimination of parasites such as forms which are too big to phagocytose. They are equipped with certain toxic chemicals, stored in their granules, which they release when the eosinophils binds to an infecting organism. Now let us see about basophils. Basophils, which are closely associated with allergic reactions, contain cytoplasmic granules packed with heparin, histamine and other substances that promote inflammation. The stimulus that causes basophils degranulation is an allergen of some type. This binds to antibody type receptor on the base of membrane. Now let us see about agranulocytes. The monocytes and lymphocytes make up 25 to 50 percent of the total leukocyte count. They have a large nucleus and no cytoplasmic granules. Now let us see about monocytes. These are the largest of white blood cells. Some circulate in the blood and are relatively motile and phagocytic, while others migrate into the tissues and develop into macrophages. Monocytes stimulates the production of some globulins by the liver. Monocytes the production of activated T lymphocytes. Now let us see about lymphocytes. Lymphocytes are smaller than monocytes and have large nuclei. Some circulate in the blood, but most are found in tissues, including lymphotic tissues, such as lymph nodes and the spleen. All lymphocytes originate from only one type of stem cell, the final steps in their development lead to the production of two distinct types of lymphocytes, that is T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. Now let us see about T lymphocytes. T lymphocytes which is also called as T cells. 
a lymphocyte of a type produced or processed by the thymus gland, and actively participating in the immune response. Now let us see about B lymphocytes. B lymphocytes, which is also called as B cells, a lymphocyte not processed by the thymus gland and responsible for producing antibodies. Erythrocytes, red blood cells, and thrombocytes, platelets. Links are given below in the description. By clicking the link, you can learn about erythrocytes and platelets. I hope that this video is useful to everyone. And please do subscribe my channel and turn on the notification by clicking the bell icon for more notes. Thank you.